This is Sony's brand new earbuds, Link Buds S. It's a $199 earbuds that is an alternative to earbuds that we know and love. But unlike Link Buds, Link Buds S has noise cancellation and ambient sound. So let's get to unboxing. And here it is. Link Buds S comes in this environment friendly box. Inside the box, we're greeted with a quick start guide and behind that Link Buds S in its charging case. These earbuds have six hour battery life and with the case that goes up to 20 hours. They have noise cancellation and ambient sound features, which we'll be testing out soon. And they support LDAC and DSE Extreme. But wait, there's more. When you pull out this compartment, we're greeted with some instructions and promotions, a USB-A to USB-C cable, and different size tips for LinkBuds S. The material feels very similar to LinkBuds, but it has more grip, which is always good. First of all, the case looks very much like the AirPods Pro's case. I think it's a little thicker, but it's a little shorter. And in total, it is lighter than AirPods Pro. When it comes to the earbuds itself, I think they're more or less the same. Four grams, five grams AirPods, four grams Link Buds. By the way, before we move on, I'd like to mention if you were looking into earbuds, they released a couple of updates and now if you use the app and do the equalizer settings you like, the, the lack of bass I was talking about is pretty much gone. The update and its own headphones app makes a difference when it comes to sound quality. So keep that in mind. The case has this indicator light here and then we have USB-C connection and a Bluetooth connection uh, button here. These are magnetic, they just sit in the place and then they start charging. The, I like the design, I like the colors, I like the gray and the black combination. It looks really good, I like the way they put the logo here. They fit fine into my ears. Ooh, 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 calm down. They fit fine into my ears, we're in the transparency mode now. And, um, but they didn't stay really good in my ears, but my wife didn't have any problems. So I, I, I was wearing these while I was eating and watching TV. And whenever I was chewing, they were getting loose, but she didn't have that problem. So it's going to depend on your ears. AirPods fit me really well. The link buds, I have no problem with, even though you need to learn how to put these in a little bit. When it comes to sound quality, by default, let's say you pair this and then you put them on, they actually sound really good. They sound better than AirPods before you touch the equalizer and anything. But they are quieter compared to AirPods Pro, but the bass is definitely deep. And when it comes to active noise cancellation, Active noise cancellation on Earbuds S is good, but not as good as AirPods Pro. To be able to show you and give you more or less an idea about what to expect from LinkBuds S, I'm using this contraption I put together. This contraption allows me to capture results extremely similar to what I'm hearing. However, I feel like the Earbuds fits better to this contraption compared to my ear. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna play airplane cabin sound from the HomePod minis, set it around 80 decibels, then switch between modes to see how good isolation, noise cancellation and ambient sound is. In this homemade airplane cabin test, the results must be taken relative to each other. 
In ambience mode, LinkBuds S performs fine, but it doesn't feel as transparent as AirPods Pro. When all the features are off, I can see that AirPods has better isolation. And probably that is why AirPods Pro performed a little better when it comes to noise cancellation, which is what I'm experiencing personally as well. Also on this contraption, both earbuds passed the tip test before I conducted these tests. However, the cabin noise is slightly louder on AirPods Pro test. And when it comes to transparency, the transparency is really good, really impressive. But once again, it's not as good as AirPods Pro. This is the ambient sound test for LinkBuds S. Now I'm on your right side. And now I'm on your left side. Transparency test. This is AirPods 1. AirPods 1. I'm on the left side. Now I'm on your right side. As you can hear here with these industry gold standard I'm on your right side left side and ukulele strum tests even though they're very similar AirPods Pro which I kept calling AirPods 1 sounds a little more natural however LinkBuzz S is doing a great job too PUBG latency test. When it comes to latency, there's no noticeable issues while watching videos. However, when it comes to gaming, in sound quality priority mode, the latency was around 333 milliseconds, which means in this 24 frames per second video, the sound is heard after 8 frames, which goes up to 10 frames in connection priority mode. And on the other hand, AirPods Pro were 6 frames behind. Now let's test out the microphone quality. For this, I'm gonna go to my voice memos and I'm gonna start recording a new recording right now I'm recording directly into my phone using the earbuds s and this is what it sounds like right now I'm recording directly into my phone using airpods pro and this is what it sounds like Right now I'm recording directly into my phone using earbuds and this is what it sounds like. When I perform the clinically proven right now I'm recording directly into my phone test, I say AirPods Pro takes the last place, LinkBuds S takes the second place and LinkBuds takes the first place. Now let's go and take a look at the app. Here we're seeing how much battery we have on each bud and on the case. But on the case, next to the case we have this eye icon when you tap on it it says the battery level display of the charging case is updated when headphones are removed from the charging case which means link bud s doesn't connect to your phone like airpods you need to take the buds out of its charging case to check its battery level which makes checking the battery level inconvenient but it probably means this case saves all of its juice to charge the buds all right in the app we have by the way this is the headphones app Sony's headphones app. We have the adaptive sound control. It turns noise cancellation or ambient sound accordingly. For example, if you're walking outside, it turns on ambient sound. If you like, you can turn on or off this feature. Underneath that, we have basic play, stop, and volume control. And then in sound, we have the ambient control settings here. And in the ambient sound, you can select uh, focus on voice which is kind of like keeps the active noise cancellation on but the frequencies where the voice is it leaves them on so you hear people talking more speak to chat is if you're listening to something it stops when you start talking and also it turns on ambient sound so you hear what the other side is saying and then you can go to your settings and select the time until the mode closes which i set to five seconds it was set to 15 seconds i found it a little too long and then underneath that we have the equalizer with clear bass which makes a great difference to set the earbuds to your liking. And at the bottom, we have the 360 reality audio setup where you take photos of your ears to analyze it and then it adjusts itself to your ears. 360 audio, in case you don't know, it is not like spatial audio, but it is kind of like spatial audio. It is much more wider experience. You feel the instruments a lot more separated compared to 
a stereo sound for example you can choose between priority on sound quality or priority on sta uh, stable connection depends on what kind of environment you're in if you're in a place where there's a lot of interference uh, you can switch to stable connection and these earbuds will stay connected better compared to the sound quality version and then we have of course dsee extreme and then in the settings we have here you can select google assistant or amazon alexa it works with siri too you just have to hold down the button but it just doesn't take the trigger command and then you can change the touch sensor function to control these you can you tap on the sides or hold it down or you double tap and then we have the optimal earbud tips so when you put these in your ear it can tell you if you if the tip size is correct for you we have the automatic power off and then of course the music pauses when you take the headphones off and then we have the notification and voice guide for it to tell you the notifications that comes to your phone and we have automatic download of software which are downloads the updates and then we have services and in services we have something interesting that is special for LinkBuds S, but it is also coming to LinkBuds with a firmware update soon. And that is autoplay. And what autoplay does is you set up, for example, when you go outside on a walk, it starts playing a playlist for you without you doing anything. Or when you put the earbuds in, they start playing for you. You can set it up to whatever you want. Right now I cannot test it, but that's how it works. So that's pretty much the app. But if you go to your Bluetooth settings, we have the find device option and when you tap on that you can find your link buds s and it gradually gets louder the case also doesn't have wireless charging which is something i wish it did because leaving earbuds on wireless charging when you're not using them is a very nice way of keeping them charged in the end, LinkBuds S is great sounding earbuds with a lot of features in its sleeves. I really like the sound quality and I feel like the other features will be fine tuned in time just like how they did with LinkBuds. The features may not be at AirPods Pro level but considering its price and what it can do, it is definitely something to check out if you ask me. Well, thank you very much for watching this episode and I hope you enjoyed it. As usual, what matters is what you think. What did you think about LinkBuds S? What did you think about the fact that now we have names for earbuds that we can say? WF1000, XW5000, no, LinkBuds S, LinkBuds. Very nice. Well, let me know what you think about these earbuds in the comment section below. And let me know if there's anything you want me to test out. And until I see you the next time, take really good care of yourselves. And hoşçakalın.